<laughs> oh yeah. Also, I got these for you. Oh, amazing. Uh, we we got oh, we got cupcakes much. from you. <laughs> I don't know if you know these. These are Dutch. No. No. Uh, they're, they're, called, they're called stroopwafels. Okay. Ah. So it's basically a syrup waffle. Yeah. They're especially good if you're having tea or if you're, if you're having coffee. You put them like on top of oh, the. Oh, it melts. The kind yeah, of and it kind of melts the, the caramel that's in there. So uh, it's pretty cool. Thank awesome. You very much. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Uh, enjoy. Awesome. It's just very weird sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone checks that, I always look at the camera and smile. I don't know why. I'm just like, yeah. oh, does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very familiar with your smile. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, yeah. In the developer diaries, yeah. you're always sitting there and you're always having that same old, hi, hey, do you need here? Executive producer. I changed <laughs> it for the last week though by mistake. Did you notice? No, what did I, you I, I said, oh, hi, hi, like, Joe Neat here. See if thieves executive producer or something like just and literally everyone went mad on, <laughs> on Reddit and I was like I didn't even know I changed it. We're, we're, brain, we're brainwashed for yeah, you yeah. saying that only thing and then we know it's true. If yeah, you yeah, say yeah. something else, we're like, yeah. who is this dude? Is that yeah. First of all, see if thieves is one year old. It is. Yay! 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 Congratulations! Yeah, <laughs> you did it. Uh, I'm one year in, uh, still having a lot of fun. Uh, how are you guys? Private legend already? Not quite. No, no, still not. If, if all the hours that we played in development count. Yeah, I think we would be. You should, <laughs> yeah. you should have made yeah. those count, probably. But obviously we had to start from zero like everyone else. Back yeah, at, that's, uh, that's kind of back at year one. So, There's yeah. about ten Pirate Legends there in the are. studio, yeah. though, amongst that's, the dev team. We've I know John's good. one. John yeah. is Chris Field, who's on yeah. a web team, got, got there Marlo like yesterday or day before. Chris Marlowe, James, James, one of James yeah. Thomas, yeah. There's a bunch. Yeah. He seems like the guy that would definitely spend a lot of time in his own game. Yeah. No, but I talked to you during Gamescom and then we were both like, hey, are we Pirate Legends yet? And I was pretty close. You're still in the middle ground there somewhere. I'm about 35 in most of my um, yeah, okay, so, so yeah, about halfway. So. Yeah, okay, no, so then I know that I'm better than you, so that's, <laughs> that's the thing. Also, cool. we just played a round of Arena and I definitely whooped your ass. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> we won the first one. Yeah, well, we won the second one and that's the one that counts. The that's third one, one is the one that counts. Okay, okay, okay. We'll okay. see how that goes. Yeah, later. yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> is this a threat? <laughs> A promise. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, you, you've definitely been the competitive player yeah. in your own game for a long time. Yeah, you, you've got the attitude. That's all right. Um, hey, so of course we're here for uh, the year one anniversary update. Uh, a lot of new stuff. Uh, can we quickly, for those who don't know, just quickly go about like what's new? Go, what's go. new since yeah. the first year, or what? What's or what new we're in this? Uh, we talk about anniversary. Up. We, we, yeah. we yeah. do know about the hungering deep and yeah. uh, curse sales, uh, shrouded spoils, and stuff. Uh, yeah. What's new in this particular? So update? in the anniversary update, we have Tall Tales, which are our um, kind of Sea of Thieves answer to authored lore and story quests for players. So they're an authored quest that takes you on a, on a journey, tells a story, but it's still within Sea of Thieves shared world. So you're still going to see all the players. You've still got all the emergent threats. It's kind of Sea of Thieves way of doing that. And then we have Arena as well, which is Sea of Thieves take on competition. So you're going to go into an arena, which is a, a small subset of islands in the Sea of Thieves world, battle against um, other crews, other ships, um, for points, for, for getting treasure, sinking each other, killing players, you get points, and the crew with the most points wins. And that's like a, a 24 minute match, so players can jump in, they know how long they're going to play for. And then of course we've got um, some of our, like, along the way features as well, like fishing and cooking and the harpoon. And our new company is called the um, the Hunter's Call and you can hand in fish and cooked food to them. You can progress with them. You can also progress with the Sea Dog Company through Arena. And so instead of having to um, use the Order of Souls, the Gold Hoarders and the Merchants to now get to Pirate Legend, you now have a choice of any three out of the five. Yeah. So players have got a bit more choice about how they get there. Which is uh, fun to me because uh, a bit more choice is, is always mm -hmm. good and you don't get to like progress only through these yes, paths. Yeah. So uh, gives us a chance to get there now, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, so. you're, you're especially, Joe, you're, you're very much fond of the fishing, right? Uh, uh, I believe I'm you were a massive like, fan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you actually were more involved in the development of the... Uh, of the, the fishing, fishing. Yeah. yes, yeah. Um, the fishing, like, something we've wanted to do for a really long time, something yeah. people have been asking for for a long time, like just to give you something to do along the way and it just fits, obviously you're at sea, like you want to go fishing. Um, but like what we wanted to do with Sea of Thieves version of fishing was to keep that absolute natural immersion in the world. So 
having no HUD elements, nothing like that, no like kind of UI, so you're not playing like a piece of UI, you are battling the fish in the world. It's very intuitive, it's all done through camera um, and, and visual feedback and audio feedback. So And the controller yeah. shaking if your mind Co starts Controller shakes and the screen shakes if you're doing like the wrong thing. So we try to, we put a lot of emphasis on natural cues to try and make it intuitive. So there is depth there, there is definitely skill to learn. Um, and there's also like 50 different actual individual fish you can find as well. So yeah, there's um, lots of fun to like figuring out where you can find certain fish and then different ones have diff different colours, have different rarities as well. So there's a definite kind of sticker book-esque quality to filling out the different fish that Yeah, there's you also different catch. kind of baits. There's different baits. Yeah. So certain fish require bait as well. So you can't actually find them without having the right bait. There's three yeah. different types of bait. Uh, I actually uh, really liked how it worked. Uh, I was a bit, I'm always a big fan of fishing in games. It's, it's for some reason, even in Minecraft, so you just plop it down and you just pull it up. Uh, even that can be very addictive. Uh, but I, I really like this one because it feels really real. It feels really Sea of Thievesy. So um, if you ask me, I would say like Minecraft's up there. Then you get Stardew Valley's fishing. Then you get maybe Fables fishing. Sea of Thieves should be around those those top there. Maybe maybe even on top. I have to catch some more fish to, to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but I, I really like it. Um, about the arena. Um, why didn't you guys call it Botol Royale? Because I know <laughs> a lot of the guys on the Rare team are Scott big fans. Scott Royale as well was another one that was Oh, that's a good around. one! Yeah, yeah, I was, I was yeah. first going for Pirate Royale, but that's <laughs> just a little bit too on the nose. No, I mean, uh, of course, Battle Royale is like a, a huge like genre at the moment. A mm -hmm. lot of us at the studio play Battle Royale, so I play a lot of Battle Royale games myself. And, um, but for Sea of Thieves, it's really not about following trends or about doing what other people are doing. Sea of Thieves is about bringing a new type of multiplayer game to more people than ever before. Yeah. And we've definitely done that with Adventure and we've seen that have success. So Arena for us is about bringing competition to more people than ever before. So it's yeah. not just about your immediate, um, necessarily your Twitch shooter skills or those kind of things. It's about everything. It's everything that Sea of Thieves is about. Your social skills, like working together with, with your crew, your strategy, reading maps repairing the ship, everything's important in Sea of Thieves' version of competition. Yeah. And we really hope that it's just a more approachable take on competition. But at the same time, it is hyper-competitive, as you two demonstrate. Yeah, and, yeah. and so for people who are really into that hyper-competition, like it scratches that itch as well. Exactly. Yeah. But we, we expect a broader range of people to be able to come in and play this. You don't need specific like Twitch shooter skills mm -hmm. to be an effective player and stuff. like. And ultimately, anyone can win, as, as you proved earlier. Oh, wow. Holy... Yeah. <laughs> 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 this this interview is, this took a whole lot of different turn. This this got really honestly. Oh. Just yeah. I just like, like to say he started it. He started it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. There's some shots fired, but that's, that's okay. I'm, uh, just remember it for the session later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. With the red chip. With there. the red chip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just watch out for the black seals, just yeah, yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Team Crack, we're your studio head, you'll get fired if you're yeah. <laughs> Okay, of course, uh, anniversary, uh, year one, uh, again, I'm getting the feeling uh, the 30th of April, this is going to be a big ass update, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun, especially for like the crews I'm playing with who play the game a lot, there's a lot of new stuff in there, uh, kind of gives that shrouded spoils feel of it yeah. just not being one thing, but a lot of different things that are going to change. Um, Big fan of that. Maybe I'm even more excited for the things to come because this is, of course, year one, and we're still in an evolving game. That's a service that's gonna keep on continuing what you're doing. Um, you recently told us that pets may yeah. have been a little bit postponed. What's up with that? Yeah. So we we've had pets in the insiders, our kind of testing ring for the probably about three or four weeks now, mm -hmm. and uh, so we basically got some feedback from our insiders that they weren't quite kind of up to scratch or what they would expect from pets. We did some reviews internally and basically it's fair to say that we, we there's more work to do to get them to the quality level that we would expect, right, that we would release. And so there's a team continuing work on that and really it's about giving them a bit more kind of reaction to things that's going on in the world so they feel a bit more alive yeah. because, and also that you can interact with them and get the interactions you would expect. Basically like you can pet a pet, you can show it to someone, they can feed it a banana, all of that kind of fun stuff that you just expect. All the expect. stuff you'd expect yeah. basically. Yeah. It's it about was... getting the right like version of pets into players' hands yeah. rather than having them come as part of anniversary. It's more important to us that pets are like the right experience for players. Yeah. Which is very important because I get the feeling pets are something that's close to a lot of players' hearts. Oh totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we know that. And and, but then even beyond that, right? We've 
now with um, the arena launching, plus with the tall tales that are coming in as part of adventure, yeah. we've now got two really rich platforms to go build on and grow around. So like with arena, it's like how can we build competitive structures around it? How can we like what are tournaments like for arena? What what do we need to put in place for people? Like what's a regular series of events or tournaments or things for for that competitive side? And then um, you know how do we go and enrich the world? How do we add more tall tales, more story, more engagement activities, more voyages, more events, more goals, rewards, etc. So you know, it's like the year two, like, I think we're as excited as you are, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, totally. we've got so many plans and so many ideas. I'm actually, like, more excited because I'm on a higher level than you. So, <laughs> that's, I, I get to experience more. That's uh, true. You're yeah. talking to a private <laughs> legend, so um, I'm, like, your legendary or lo your majesty, I would at least expect some of those, like, like, thrown in there, but that's okay. Like, some people are just not <laughs> just respectful. <laughs> So this, this may be a little bit on the technical side, but uh, Microsoft uh, announced Project X Cloud a while back. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys were in the demo. Yep. You guys were like, you could see see if these being played on a mobile phone. Uh, how, how involved are you in that? And are we going to see like see if these on some crazy places? <laughs> so. That's very much future stuff for us at the moment. Mm -hmm. We do we have a kit here. We have one up in one of the barns that we've kind of we've got it on and running and playing on and stuff. So yes, that was all real. Like I've, yeah. I think I first played it in a hotel room at Gamescom. I think it was. Yeah, they like oh, but, like that early. To, yeah, yeah, like got pulled together by the XCloud team to actually kind of demo it first time and go hey mm -hmm. like with some other games too. And um, so it's it's super cool. But like for us, there will be work to do just around controls and making it feel right for us. But that's kind of post the work and the focus that we have yeah. right now but, okay. but it's some super super exciting tech like it's um that, that team's doing amazing work so but that's very like i think our kind of our strategy is always like what's the near-term goals and what's the slightly longer term and that fits into that slightly longer and it's but it's okay. kind of funny because you know you get the engineers up and running with it and they all get excited and they're like can we just focus on this now it's like we've got other stuff first <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah because okay. it's like new toy, new toy. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay um, okay so yeah. then to, to quickly round it up and to maybe bring yeah. it back to like yeah, yeah, our yeah. earlier future plans yeah. um which one of the new features or just a tiny tweak whatever it is uh, was the most interesting to, to you both I think like as we talked about earlier the fishing like I'm, I'm proud of where we ended up with the yeah. with the no hood approach and the natural approach but um, I'm not actually part of the tall tales team myself mm -hmm. um, that's um, Andy our the senior designer also happens to be my husband yeah so, <laughs> um, so I've, I've, but I've kind of almost deliberately because I love like puzzle and that kind of puzzle solving element and that quest yeah. element I'm so excited about that we actually played the version last week the, what you played mm -hmm. today for the first time and it was super exciting so I think that I'm really excited to see how players like respond yeah, to yeah. that. Yeah, me too. That, that definitely is like a big thing. And also bringing love and lore yes. back into the game. I know yeah. there's a lot of lore surrounding the game yeah. but yes. having it in the game yeah. that's really nice. There are snippets in there but it's yeah. like we're kind of presenting it to you now rather than yeah. you having to go It's not only it so world much. building. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joe, like the most thing, the thing you're most excited? Harpoon. Like Harpoon just as, as a tool it's so great. So it's obviously great in a competitive mode like Arena you can use it to harpoon other ships. You can, but you can also harpoon people. You can harpoon barrels in the water. You can harpoon chests and stuff. Out of their hands, right? Yes, you can, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so yeah. so, so, like, yesterday we were playing arena and someone was running along the beach and I, we were sailing yeah. past and I and I fired the harpoon at them just in front and it didn't hit them. But I was like, if I had got managed to steal the chest, <laughs> that would have been it. I would have been, I would have been done. I'm like, <laughs> not playing even, again. Like, never again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even, yeah. even though it didn't happen, that's yeah. still a good story. It was yeah. so. Yeah. Like, but I, just, I just saw the opportunity. I was like, oh god, please, <laughs> please. I know that this could work. And uh, but you can even steal it off other people's ships, right? Yeah. So if you're sailing past and they've got a chest on the front if you manage to hit that correctly you can that's, steal it off that's so, pretty next level yeah. stuff yeah. So it's, yeah but it's that's why it's such a great tool and i think that's in the sea of thieves spirit right just an emergent gameplay tool that has yeah. so many uses and something a little bit unexpected i yeah. think as well for players like yeah. weren't really sure what we'd cut those bits on the ship out for and exactly yeah. what it was that was be fun it's a bit of a surprise <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah yeah we still have the little bar that's probably gonna fit a parrot but not <laughs> so, no but I, I like the little little tweaks and teasers you, you guys yeah. put in the game yeah. uh where's salty by the way he just disappeared salty. recently mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no but thanks a lot guys and uh good luck on launch Launch 2.0, launch yeah, yeah, yeah. of the year one anniversary yeah. of the It is 2.0, that's our yeah. version number, so yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, we're going to 2.0. Good luck yeah. on that, awesome. and uh, thanks a bunch. No, thank, thank you, you, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Great, great chat, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the smack talk. I really hope <laughs> the smack talk is still on there, because that was good stuff. <laughs>